happened to be in The Hague, and I had to visit Akamon, the place where they make these super cool ink bottles. And you know, you turn them around and then you get ink trapped in there. You can put your pen in there and fill it, and then when you're done, you can sort of make the ink flow out again. I say sort of because this is a new bottle and it's still quite full. I was at Akamon, found a pen store, and I had to buy a pen, right? That's how these things are. You just have to accept that. And I got a diplomat. Uh, uh, I got this one, fascinating box, metal, cardboard, and I got the Arrow, a relatively new uh, diplomat. You get this cushion in the box, you can pull it out, I'm just going to pull it out with that, get a converter, and you get a little service and warranty guide. The pen comes in two finishes, a sort of cream color, and there is a brown, and I chose the brown because for some reason I love brown. Um, cover the parts of the pen, try what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. I start at the top of the pen, you get this flower design, Delta's logo, I love it. Uh, you have the clip. You can do more by that. Etc. Um, Center band, it's not really a separate band, it says Diplomat made in Germany. And as you can see, it has a fluted design, those little grooves. I like that. It's like um, um, a pillar from antiquity. And at the end, you got this thing. They, they, these come in a ballpoint version as well. And then this obviously is open, you can just push it, and then the, the little tip comes out. Uh, the clip is very springy, but I can also bend it. So I have to be a little careful with that, because if I can bend it, then, you know, be careful. Um, the cap pops open, you can post the pen, then you get a pretty big pen. You can use it unposted too, then you have the nib, it's a nice big diplomat nib. I got this medium, unfortunately they didn't have broad, a pity because I love broad. You get the uh, diplomat logo on there, again, that flower. And then it says diplomat since nine. How to read since 1822, I think, and then M for medium. Bit of scroll work. No, no scroll work. That's just that flower and then some lines. Okay. Um, this pen was 140, 120, 120 euros. And then for 240, you can buy a gold nib. That's a little steep, I think. For just adding gold, you double the price of the pen. I know gold is expensive right now, but that seems a little excessive to me. Uh, but, you know, just saying, I got the steel nib, fine enough for me, it's smooth enough. You get a nice long section and a fairly steep stab down. It doesn't bother me, but I know there's people who are going to be bothered by that. Then you have the barrel, as I said, flute to design. You unscrew it and you get the converter, nothing fancy, just a standard uh, diplomat converter. nice thing about these converters is that you can disassemble them. You can just unscrew... I have to be a little careful because the ink in there, this metal bit, you can pull out the piston, you can easily clean it. That's very nice because that really simplifies the cleaning of a converter, I find. All right, I'll screw this back in place. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. I like the looks. I like the weight. It's a fairly heavy pen. I like that. Um, I like the, um, the fluted design that immediately caught my eye. I'm not sure how well the camera picks it up, but it's. I think it's it's quite nice. Um, I love it. I love the color. The brown is sort of metallic brown. Again, not sure how well the camera picks it up, but check these out somewhere. You probably see good pictures. I like that. Uh, I like that that design quite a lot. And um, things I don't like about it. Well, the cap is very tight, um, which of course, on one hand, is a good thing. On the other hand. It's a bit of a pity when you really have to yank your pen to open it. Also, that step down, as I said, it doesn't bother me, but I know there are people who really don't like that. I like the fact you can post it. It gets definitely a bit top heavy. It's a heavy pen overall, but you can do it. Uh, finally, I'm not too sure about this. I think that could be a little bit tighter. So the tolerance could be improved a little bit, but okay. Um, finally, the price. Is it worth it? 120 for a steel nib pen? Well, I find it very pleasant to use. So for me, yes, it was worth it. All right, let's take a couple of measurements before we do the writing sample. 
capped, I get 140 millimeters. Exactly. Uncapped, I get 128 millimeters. No, 129 millimeters. Sorry. Section diameter at the narrowest point, I have 10. At the widest point, I have 12 millimeters. It's a fairly big pen. All right. Oh, finally, one thing that I like is the section that's quite long. That gives me a lot of, if you have fairly big fingers as I do, it gives you a lot of grip. Just forgot about that. All right. I think what we need to do now is see a writing sample. Let me just throw it on my scale before I nearly forgot that part. Uh, inked up, I get 50 grams. So definitely a heavy pen. I hope this was useful. Let's look at the writing sample, and um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. All right, so here we go with the Diplomat Arrow. Uh, the nib is medium, and uh, the ink... Um, I'm having serious trouble trying to remember what it was. Could be Lidete by G. G. Urbain. Uh, the paper is Claire Fontaine. All right. Writing is smooth. Touch of feedback. but not scratchiness, just the type of feedback that lets you know that you're writing. Uh, a bit of fast writing. As you can see, the nib and feet keep up very well. This is not skipping, this was just me writing on my little underlay. Um, so that's quite good. As to wetness, I find this to be a relatively wet nib, especially for a medium. Uh, I think you get some quite nice wet ink flow there. Uh, line variation, well it is a steel nib. You can squeeze out a little bit, but not excessively so. Um, so this is about all you get. Uh, and then finally we got a little bit of reverse writing. I can immediately feel it is much more scratching like this. So this is clearly not a pen you can just turn around and, and uh, write with. Um, well, that's all about this pen. I hope this was useful. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.